been a lot of controversy lately, especially on social media, about this little guy. This is an AR-15 round, uh, but it's got the green tip on it. And there's a lot of talk about the ATF wanting to get rid of this. I thought we talked to one of the experts about what the issue is. Here it is against a traditional AR-15 round. And Michael Austin is one of the range shift managers here at Wilshire Gun. What is this little bullet, and why is it costing so much controversy? Okay, so this is the M855 round. It's still a 5.56, five, just like this one. Mm -hmm. The difference that you can see is the green tip. So most bullets, if you look up here, it's going to be a lead bullet surrounded by a copper jacket. With this green tip, it's a steel bullet, we call a steel core, surrounded by a copper jacket. So on the outside, it doesn't look any different. The difference is on the inside. When you're firing this round then, because it's steel instead of lead, it's less apt to collapse like a lead round will. Absolutely. Um, a lot of hunters will use it. They get a little bit more penetration than with a standard um, lead jacket, mm -hmm. and you can use that instead of hollow point if you really want to be able to punch through something. But the ATF is worried they're going to start using these rounds in handguns. Can you explain that? Okay, so in the past couple years, AR pistols have become very popular. It's the same as a standard AR, but it has a shorter barrel, and it has a buffer tube that doesn't allow for a stock to be attached. But it's the same weapon. Um, you can fire either one of these through an AR-15 rifle. It's completely illegal. But if you look at the ATF rules on... Um, armor-piercing rounds, if it's fired through a pistol and it has a steel core, they consider it armor-piercing, where with a rifle, that's not the case. So they're worried about uh, bad guys getting a hold of these pistols and using them against uh, law enforcement, etc. Kind of, it, but it's interesting, though, because I can take an AR pistol... I can put a different buffer tube on it and a longer barrel, and now it's a rifle. This is a very fancy, schmancy version. Of, I can see now where the stock would have gone versus taking the stock off and making it basically a handgun? Yes, sir. Right here, normally, you have a, a place where you could attach the uh, yeah. stock. On this one, you don't have that. And then the short barrel, those are the only two differences between this and a normal AR rifle. So imagine this kind of in a darker color or maybe even a camo color, or if you like, gold. Who doesn't like gold? <laughs> but this is the weapon they're talking about, using that uh, green tip ammunition in. Michael, why, as a regular gun person, should I care about whether or not we can get a hold of green tip or not? So regardless of whether you're using it through an AR pistol or an AR rifle like this, it's really cheap ammo. You can buy it in bulk uh, for less than 40 cents a round, probably. And a lot of hunters still use this for hunting. And uh, if we lose it, it's... You're going to have a harder time finding bulk and be a lot more expensive. And I would think they would be able to start reclassifying all kinds of different ammunition and getting rid of it. Oh, absolutely. If I could find a 30 6 pistol, well, now we can ban 30 6 ammo. There's no denying the AR-15 is a good standard weapon for just about anything. Why? Because of versatility. We've talked about this before. We've got an adjustable stock here for maybe the lovely wife. Maybe you don't like it so close. Uh, also, lots of different options, whether those options be the steel targets that you want to use, just doing it manually, whether you want to use the laser sight, which we can turn on, and then we can also magnify that 300 times on this particular uh, Daniel Defense. This one also has a little forearm where you can kind of really get in there and hold on. Not too bad, not too bad. That's it. Now we're going to use the laser sight at the same distance. And a little better. Now we're going to use the scope. Headshots only. Oh yeah, much better. Now let's try it at a hundred yards with the scope. One of the cool features of Wilshire Gun 
the video camera, let you see how you did without having to bring it all the way in. But in case you can't see it on the video, I'll bring it in. Yeah, no doubt that scope helps, especially if you're like me and you have a little problem with bifocals. Here's a website where you can go and sound off on the ATF's proposal and tell it what you think.